Hi everybody, Andy McPhee here, uh, along with uh, Doug Kenny, uh, the main host of Relentless and Unstoppable. As with each series we do, I let people know how this started. Relentless and Unstoppable started about a year and a half ago after my coaching and mentoring of Doug for six and a half years. Doug is an incredible human being who was um, he's dealing with high functioning autism and at school he was dealing with obesity and bullying and depression and medication and hospitalization all those things that tend to come along with when you're dealing with something in life and Doug over the last few years we've had an amazing journey he's gone from 300 pounds to down to close to under 200 now he does yoga running walking he's now into bodybuilding which we organized and, and helped him you know do it the correct way his diet is incredible and it's an inspiration of his story which is why I created this channel and since then I think Doug said to me the other day and he can confirm this we've had probably 181,000 views over the last year or so which is great for a couple of guys who have no idea what they're doing <laughs> at all like zero but we're getting better and I'm actually learning off Doug now because uh, he is he is very relentless uh, he never gives up so doug i'll hand it over to you to introduce our amazing guest yeah well thank god he did say that yeah yeah no it, it sort of spurred me on to think well, what mm. what is my film then you know it's not oh. just it's not just entertainment it's got to do more than that you know yeah oh man i tell you i can't <laughs> i can't wait till it gets out onto the circuit because it's like just um just the little bits we've heard here and the taste of it like Wow, what an incredible, um, incredible story. Like, just, jeez. And, and then the, the, the cool thing is, too, is that Scott, like, he funds this program off his own bat. You know what I mean? Like, he's he's been doing it for five or six years now. Like, cost him a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy. Um, and if as much as the program that he does is, is good, it's also a celebration of people that um, are like a pretty selfless, you know. And so I was really keen to kind of also make this a, a, a portrait or a study of someone who is he's 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 really genuinely cares about other people, you know. Mm -hmm. Like he he's not he's not doing this for the money. Um, he he really part of his passion in life is helping is helping other people. And, wow. and so, you know, people that have seen the film have all come away from it going, man, what a great, look, what an amazing person. Mm. Um, and so it just can like, it can light the fire a little bit in people to think, well, what can I do to help someone? You know, like what is my little thing that I could potentially like, might be volunteering at the soup kitchen. It might be doing some other thing where you're not thinking about yourself. Yeah, you know, you're not you're not tied up in what do I want, you know. Mm. It's sort of like, um, and I just saw that over years. I mean, so many people would contact Scott, said, "Mate, I've got this really trouble ex race horse. I haven't got any money. I was just wondering if you could try and help me retrain it." Like he goes and helps it. You know, he gets veterans saying, "Look, oh, you know, I'd love to do your course, but you know, um, I've got nowhere to live." Like he'll find them somewhere to live so they can come and do his course. You wow, um, and. You know, I've had numerous people over the four or five-year journey of making the film, the veterans, say to me, um, had I not done this course, I'd be dead. Well, that's you know? a pretty strong statement, mate. Like, it can't get any mm. – there's no fluff or filler around that statement, and that's mm. the whole stigma around mental health and suicide with all of the other people we've interviewed on here, Matt Runnels, uh, who runs uh, – CEO of Mindful.org Australia and – Troy Coward, an actor from Perth, is you know started his own non-profit for mental health, and uh, Kevin Hines, uh, who wrote the Ripple Effect or the documentary The Ripple Effect, when he jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge and survived. So, you know, there's these are strong statements from people. Young girl who jumped in front of a train and survived, and now she's trying to help other young kids. So, you can't fluff up suicide and mental health. It's got to be straight yeah. out. This is what it's doing to people. It's killing people. They can't deal mm. with it. And people, we need to stand up and help help people. And how blunt is that statement? If I wasn't here, I'd be dead. Or that guy saying, I've dug my own grave. Like, you can't get any more, any more authentic than that. Yeah. 
And, you know, there's a guy in the documentary, a guy called Max, who is now, <clears throat> having spent years working with Scott, um, he's now training, he's now running his own course. So he's now helping other veterans and other horses, yeah. you know. Right. And, and I went and it, so it's sort of like Scott's also creating trainers that are capable of doing this work. Do you know what I mean? So... You, 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 could, you could easily imagine that something like what Scott's doing in New South Wales could be happening in every state in Australia where people, oh. where, where the veteran community are helping retrain X race horses mm. and they're both getting a benefit because every year coming out of the racing industry, there's thousands of horses that are ending up as dog food because no one's retraining them. And there's, there's a lot of veterans that are ending up in terrible situations as well you know so yeah gosh wow um what a story man that's um just incredible and thank thank goodness that you took that on to do that you know um because that's that's going to make a huge difference to bring it to more attention especially just here through our channel and sharing it when your film comes out um yeah it's pretty awesome sadly We've run out of time, but I, I would definitely love to talk to you again. And sure. uh, um, well, why don't we on. have another chat in the lead up? Once I know when the film's going to be released, you know, we'll do another chat sort of the week prior to it coming out. So yeah, I can yeah. then I'll then I'll know then I can tell people where they can see it, where mm. it's going to be on. Yeah, um, I'll give you the details after this if you if you have a website or something of, okay. of the, we we do have a website for the film. So okay. people can contact us on the website. They can email us. Uh, we can keep them on our mailing list to keep them updated when the film comes out, that, that sort of thing. Yeah, for sure. Doug will put all that up. And, um, right. and prior to that next one, it would be great to get Dan Reader on who's dealing with the veteran side. It would be good for him to know about it and share with his group. Sure, sure, you know? sure, sure. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, Brent, and at the moment we're training him. I'm training him to – sort of now co-host with Doug. So it gives Brendan an opportunity now to start being a co-host on interviewing people. So this is his Fantastic. first time. So it'd be great, you know. Um, Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, I think um, I think both of you guys have done a great job, you know. Um, so take heaps of confidence from this and, and, you know, take it into the next one and the next one because, oh, um, you know, it's a great platform that you're giving people. You know, D Doug gets hugged in the street. Like I'm friends with, I ain't going. I'm not going to hug him yet. But <laughs> he gets hugged in the street now in Arizona. People coming up to him. One lady cried and said, "Oh my God, your thing on mental health is beautiful." He gets recognised everywhere. I said, "Okay, this is working now, Doug. This is great. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and it's great. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. And you, yeah. once you jump on, Brenton, it'll it'll be great for the show to see two young kids dealing with autism, Asperger's, who are running their own show, um, which is great. It's an inspiration to other people dealing with similar circumstances, you know. So it's going mm, to be awesome. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, well, thanks very much for having me on. I, you know, I really appreciate it. And, um, mm. you know, I look forward to giving you an update, you know, once we know where the film's going to come out. Yeah, yeah. That's so good, man. I, you're blowing me away. I wasn't expecting that, you know, like – and hearing uh, Brenton's story as well, it's just terrific. Um, really is. Really, really is. Well, thanks, you guys. Uh, Doug, uh, back to you, Mr. Host. Yeah, that – what a story. That that almost – I got choked up a couple times, I'll admit. that That's a really incredible story. So, everyone, I want to thank uh, uh, Nick and – Brendan for uh, appearing on this uh, amazing episode and we thank you so much for what you guys are doing with horses and mm -hmm. inspiring people around the world and Andy thank you for being such a good mentor and we'll see you guys next week for the next episode of Relentless and Unstoppable. Thanks guys.